grow our middle class, our citizens must have access to the education and training that today's jobs require. When I was in business, getting qualified, talented, educated uh, employees was my chief challenge. If I could do that, I had a great company. And my budget recognizes that with historic investments in the institutions that can provide those skills and make sure that we have an educated workforce right here in Pennsylvania. Another thing we must do is bring manufacturing jobs back to our state, and that's exactly what I plan to do. We need an economy that makes stuff. Uh, and so manufacturing is important for our economy. But it's also important because manufacturing jobs are good family-sustaining jobs. Uh, and we need to, to create those jobs here in Pennsylvania. I know from my own experience that we can do manufacturing. We can make stuff here in Pennsylvania and, and we can make things really well and compete with anybody in the world. Today, the corporate net income tax is 9.99%, one of the highest in the country. They look at that and say this place obviously isn't open for business. Uh, we need to change that. My budget calls for us to reduce that to 4.99% by January of 2018. That's a 50% drop in the corporate net income tax rate. At the same time, I'm calling for the institution of mandatory combined reporting so that we, we all pay the tax. We eliminate the loopholes that allow so many companies to avoid paying that tax. We need the revenues, but we need to also show the world that Pennsylvania is open for business. There's no reason why we can't create, bring back family-sustaining jobs in Pennsylvania. There is no reason why Pennsylvania cannot be a magnet for entrepreneurs who want to come here and create those good jobs. I want that for Pennsylvania, and I think my budget achieves that. Jobs that pay, we can have that here in Pennsylvania.